Okay, thanks for being here to do this with me. Arms forward. Let's actually, let's start off with your feet staggered. Both feet are straight. Arms forward, drop the shoulders. We're gonna turn as far as you can with those ankles, the knees and the hips. So we're teaching the ankles, knees and hips that they can turn. It's not just your spine that turns because your spine can only turn so far, but with the help of the knees, ankles and hips, you can turn a lot farther without chewing up your spine and keeping it nice and happy. Now look forward with the head. Really feel this in my belly. I feel this in my feet and my inner thighs. One more time on each side. This is about the right timing and speed. Switch feet. Now what we're gonna do here is we're not really gonna take much time in between the movements. We're gonna be moving pretty quickly in between the movements. I sort of make that a game with myself. With workout, you make a lot of games with yourself when you're doing it consistently. Stay forward with the head, keeping the shoulders down. When I keep my head forward, it's a lot of neck rotation, which is great to lubricate a tight neck. Switch feet, both feet are straight forward, arms up, shift from the hips and from the hips. Not just from the torso, my hips move first as far as they can move and then my torso moves. Notice that my shoulders are staying square, I'm not turning the shoulders. So I'm not doing this, keep them square. And then switch feet. I'm not taking any time in between those shifts of the feet. I'm going right through that, not missing a beat. Couple more, this really works the obliques. Okay, switch feet, reach down, reach up. In the first one or two reps, it's okay if you can't reach the ground, if your back and your knees are waking up. Even if you can't get to the ground all the way, just go as far as you can, that feels good. Couple more, the heat's really building now. Switch feet. This softens up the back, lubricates the knees, softens the body, heats everything up. Long stride here. Left, right, left and down. Left, right, left and down. Reach, now if this pinches your shoulders at all, don't throw your arms. Just reach, instead you can slow it down if you needed to. One more time. Switch feet. I'm reaching the rib cage up, stretching that rib cage. I'm on my back toe, so I'm working my balance. Okay, feet are even and straight. Knees go down and up, hands on the hips. I'm breathing heavy now because this pulls a lot of oxygen into the muscle, so you gotta get the oxygen from someplace, and that's my breathing. I'm going as low as I can, stay down, shift the hips, keep the shoulders square, really kick into that hip, this stretches those hips. Add the arm, that really adds the core, the belly. My arm goes all the way up to the ear, my palm is forward. One more. Look down at your feet, your heels are lined up with your hip sockets, feet are turned out, turn the hips. I'm collapsing the ankle. This is an ankle movement, ankle and foot movement. Even though I'm moving my upper body, I'm working the foot and ankle. Foot and ankle is your foundation. It's very important for proper function of the knees and the hips and the spine. Turn the toes in. Breathing, let the shoulders relax. This creates a good arch on your foot when you're turning at the ankle here with your feet in. One foot forward, one foot back. Arms forward, drop the shoulders. Come down and up. Pause, pause, reach. A lot of core on this one. When I reach the bottom, my whole belly and back are having to work. One more, now I'm gonna turn my back foot. Turn the back foot. This changes the demand, the front hip is getting a lot more demand in the butt and the hamstring. One more time. Switch legs. Down and up, reach. Down, pause, up, pause, reach. You might find that one side is tighter than the other, that's okay. Do what you can. Stop if you're feeling pain. Turn the back leg on the next one. Changing the demand of that front leg the butt and hamstring are getting lots of work there. Let's do about three more. Here's the last one. Whatever foot's forward stays forward, back foot goes straight. This is called the hip flexor hamstring. Target's right here. I'm pulling with my front toes, pulling my hips forward. Couple more. 
reaching my arm as high as possible. Now I'm gonna take a little more stride, go down to the quad. Go straight down to that knee. You're stretching that quad. Three, two, good job. We'll switch sides through the hip, reaching those fingertips up high. Back leg is not really bending on this first part. The knee is allowed to bend, but I'm not asking it to bend. I'm stretching that hip. A little more stride, I go down to the knee. Now we're really stretching that thigh muscle. Don't slam your knee on the floor. Be careful of that. Okay, we're almost there. Small stride. Reach up according to the body. Squeeze the buns, tuck the hips, bend the knees. Come down, find the hamstring. Good. Now I'm not pulling my arms back to arch my back. In fact, my hips are tucking here, squeezing the buns so my back isn't arching. You can hurt your back here if you do it wrong. Two more. Last one, hands are gonna go to the floor. Hands go to the floor, hips go up and down. Catching your breath. Stay at the top, shift back, release forward. Good. Looking behind you with your eyes, let the top of your head drop to the floor. Stay back, wag your tail. Up and down for five. You're almost there, you're doing great. Come on up, switch legs, small stride. According to the torso up, squeeze the buns, tuck the hips, bend the knees, find the hamstring. The key at the top there is tucking those hips and squeezing the buns. You will not hurt your back if you do that. We're here to help you, not hurt you. This is an ab, an ab exercise, by the way. When I bring, bring my arms back, this is all abs. All abs right here. Hands on the ground, hips go up and down. Try to get up to a straight front knee. That front leg is your target leg. You try to get as straight as possible to get that hamstring stretch. One more. Stay at the top, shift back. Shift your eyesight to look behind you at the back wall. The top of the head drops to the floor. Stay back, wag your tail. Top of the center, up and down. Couple more. Okay, go down the floor, come up. Here's the final, final. Feet are wide, toes are slightly turned in, hands on the hips, rock forward, inner thighs, back release. Squeezing the buns, back release. Almost there, you're doing great. Stay forward, turn the hips right, turn the hips left. Turn those ankles, let those ankles and knees turn. We're making all the parts be one team. One foot forward, one foot back. Both feet are straight. Forward and back. If you don't feel this, shift over a little bit. Now I'm feeling more here. This is the target. Stay forward, go laterally. Laterally. You're doing great. You're gonna feel great when you're done with this. Turn into the knee. In. My back knee is pretty straight. It's soft, but I'm not asking it to bend. Now stay forward, weighted here. Turn back into that back hip. Keep that back foot straight forward. Don't let it spin out to the right. Last of the last, switch feet. Forward and back, but back foot is turned straight. That's a common mistake I see, the back foot turns out. Stay forward, go laterally. I'm feeling it right here. If I want more, I can lean back a little bit. Turn into the front leg. Turn into the front leg. That back knee is soft but I'm not asking it to bend. Here's the last one. Stay weighted here, turn back into that back hip. This back foot straight. Back knee is pretty straight, one more time. And you are complete, thank you.